y'all what's good welcome back to another vlog today i will be transforming well not today this is gonna take a couple days today i have another adidas shirt this one did i already start this video this is an extra large and i finally did the sketch for what i want this shirt to look like i was really inspired by saweetie's shirt jacket thing i'm going to try to put a piece of the video or a picture in here but i could not find like a, a posted picture of her in that shirt so i'm just going to like make something reminiscent of the jacket because i really love that jacket so i have my sketch right here i'm going to show you i'm going to show you guys the beginning process of me cutting up the shirt cutting the pieces and we're going to start from there so here's a quick little before it's extra large it's humongous we got a lot more material this time i'm excited let me know how you felt about the last video my little louis vuitton sneakers that was super dope but now we're getting back into some shirts so it's hot in here i don't want to do too much talking i'm going to show you guys my sketch and then we're going to start cutting up stuff all right you guys so do not judge the sketch i literally did it at 1 a.m that's why it's not that cute and this is basically just an idea of what i want okay so i want it to be a shirt I want the Adidas stripes on the sleeves. I want like some type of boning right here to give it like a bustier type of look. I want flared out sleeves, real good and dramatic. But I want this shirt to be way more dressy than the sporty one, the red one I did on the first vlog. So basically all you're going to need is a shirt. The only thing extra I'm using in this one is like this white type of cording. I actually got this off of another garment. I don't even know what I took this out of, but I just kept it. This is my sketch it might not end up looking like that but hopefully it looks like something close to this so right now i'm just about to start cutting the shirts up so let's get into that you guys so basically i sewed up the shirt part of the shirt and i switched the bottom to the top that is one easy way to make sure the part that's going to be looked at the most the top is looking cute if you use the already designated hem because it just looks way better than something i would do right now so i already sized it to myself and everything so this is what i have going on i'm kind of changing up the sketch in my head like i'm thinking about kind of like make 
is an outline of a bralette. I was gonna literally make a bralette, but I don't think that's the vibe anymore. And like still on the drawings, I wanna do this. So I don't know if I want this to be showing or not, but I think I do. So we're gonna see how this works. Right now I'm still brainstorming. I'm gonna do a new sketch, see how we feel about things. But right now I'm just about to maybe start on the sleeves. So let me start thinking about that. So basically right here I have my two sleeves that need to be constructed. I like sewed a piece of black material on each side. Now I have to sew it together and we're going to see how this all comes together. But I'm not about to do that tonight. I will actually sew it tomorrow. I can kind of see the vision but we're going to have to see how these sleeves come together because your girl's a little unsure. That's what we got going on right now. So if you guys can see the vision it's going to be like a sleeve. <laughs> All right, y'all, so basically what I'm about to do now is make my bell part of my sleeve. I think it's best to make it like before you put the sleeve together. That's what I just learned from a video a couple minutes ago. So what I basically am going to do is measure the circumference of my arm, which is about nine inches but I want to add like seam allowance and so I can like actually put the sleeve on and off so I'm going to round that to like 10 inches then I'm going to divide the circumference of my arm which is 10 by 3.14 which is pi and we're going to get the number that I need to create my curve with so that's what you're gonna that's what you guys are gonna see me do right now hopefully I have enough white material for this if I don't I am gonna freak out so that's what you're gonna see me do so right now I sewed the white part onto the sleeves we're actually getting some wear as you can see like my sleeves are not the same size so I don't really know how that's gonna come out but right now I'm just about to sew the sleeves up and then we're just gonna reassess so all I did was sew it together like that put both of the good sides together so now I'm just going to sew it up like this and do a straight stitch going down y'all look at what i got going on i'm so happy okay so i know i haven't been vlogging but it actually looks pretty good it's turning out exactly like i wanted to i made a new sketch because it's not going to look like the one i initially thought it was going to look like so i made this sketch right here i drew it on my ipad so that is what i'm thinking this is going to look like and i am very very happy about it very excited about it this is what i'm looking like right now i still have to like try on sleeves make sure they fit but right now they're looking pretty good i need to hem the bottom of this part right here that's what i'm gonna do next hem that and i'm gonna like change my stitch to white the hardest part is coming up because once i start adding this little piping stuff that i found i'm probably gonna end up having to sew that by hand so it's gonna be like that and it's just gonna be so cute like I'm excited about it then we're gonna come back once that's all all right you guys so now is the moment of truth I'm going to start sewing the like ribbing stuff on here I kind of did a rough sketch with chalk on how it was supposed to look I just used this bra right here as the outline for it so that's what I'm trying to do right now and then I'm gonna come back if I have any struggles <laughs> Alright, so let me tell you, I just got finished working out, so if I look a hot mess, 
that's why as you can see i'm almost done with this shirt but like i made it to where i put the like the wiring like way too low so i'm gonna have to end up like tucking that in and sewing it and as you can see i'm in the process of just finishing up this section and it's like hard to make this symmetrical as you can see this is my good side and i have it more squared and boxed off once i finish this up and then i'm just going to sew the sleeves on there and then we're going to be done okay all i'm doing is just like making little loop stitches this side is obviously better i did this side at like <laughs> almost 12 a.m so that's why it looks a little ratchet but i'm just sewing it with white thread so right now i'm just about to try to fix that as much as i can but it's still not looking even but we're just about to work with it because you girls all right y'all so i have been definitely slacking on this vlog the little boning part the underwire has been giving me so much trouble so basically what i ended up doing was gluing it down and then letting that stick overnight and then sewing it just so i can be extra secure because like i said my e6000 glue has not been working properly even though it did look pretty secure i still want to sew it so that's what i did i finally sewed the sleeves on there so this is how we're looking so far disregard this i love it i think it's going to be super cute the sleeves came out great all that the sleeves won't stay up by themselves because i have them at like such an angle like i wanted it like almost off the shoulder but just a little bit on the shoulder what i did was i took extra of my white fabric and i sewed this little bar i'm gonna call it and i want this to go along my back to kind of keep the strap up because i don't want them falling off that's going to be super annoying so what i did with this is i just took a piece of white material and folded it in half two times so it looks all nice and stuff you can't see the stitches because i use white thread and i'm going to measure my back so i know how long to make this because i don't feel like putting it on the dummy because i don't want to stretch it out so my back is about 18 inches i need the strap to be kind of tight so right here i have 18 inches so that means i'm gonna need it looser than 18 inches because this is 19 inches so I'm gonna cut like four inches off of this and then we're gonna see what we're working with. Okay, so this is how we're looking right now. Let me flip it over. I don't want it to be off the shoulder. It's gonna look like that in the back. I don't know if you can see these extra white lines, but see now this is the strip and I just want it as some support. And I think it'll look super nice. It's Adidas, stripes are in. So I'm just about to sew that right now and then the shirt should be actually finished. So. We have to have a little dance break because I am so in love. Well, I don't have on my braless, my braless. I don't have on my strapless bra right now, so don't even mind those ugly straps. But just imagine it without. Like I am in love, and it looks exactly how it should. I didn't sew it yet. I just have it pinned, but it looks so good. Oh my gosh, it looks exactly how I wanted it to look. So this bar is really efficient. Like it's keeping the straps up and everything. So that is exactly what I needed to do i'm giving y'all too much but look at the fit your girl is about to be styling so i'm about to sew this up and then i'm going to be able to show you guys the finished results all right you guys so i am finally done and this shirt took me almost a week because i kept stopping and it was kind of stressing me out but your girl prevailed thank you jesus and everything came out so nice it came out exactly how i wanted it to so let's talk about some successes and some fails here so a couple of fails were me thinking that i could just like sew this perfectly this part was definitely the hardest part the little bralette part i had to end up gluing that down with my e6000 and then going back and sewing it just for extra support these i'm gonna glue and sew down also but they're basically good for right now the sleeves were actually a really good success because i was kind of scared to do braille sleeves because i haven't done that in a while but it turned out looking so good you guys could kind of see from the try on portion the little back bar but that was definitely a major success with a little extra strap i was not expecting it to be that helpful but it was super helpful and it works to keep the strap up like one thing about sewing and you know fashion designing is you have to think on your toes to keep it going so that's what i learned from this time just think about things to make the design work and make it come out how you want it to come out so i think compared to my sketch 
feel like it looks really, really close. I would say I like it more than the last shirt I did, and the last shirt was super cute, but this one really took more out of me, and it took more advanced skills, so that's why I really liked it. I was able to challenge myself, and I'm just so happy about this. I hope you all are enjoying these vlogs. I'm already on to the next thing. I went to Walmart, and I picked up some things, so I have a whole pile of things I need to do that I'm looking at, so I'm happy to be moving on. This is going to go in my closet now. I'm so excited, so... Yes, make sure you holler at me in the comments. Let me know if there's anything you want me to make. If you guys want me to show you guys how to sew, I can do that too. Sewing machine videos, but I'm so glad that I'm able to do these vlogs for you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video.